Welcome to Storytime at Stageworks Theatre. I'm Anna Diaz from the Development Department and today we'll be reading One of the Zebras Lost Their Stripes. Let's start. One of the zebras lost their stripes, some lost black, and some lost white. Would they think all right? Or would the zebras start to fight? Would there be separate zebra types if the zebras lost their stripes? Would different colors be the end of living life as loving friends? Would zebras see themselves as zebras? or would their colors make them start to only see the black or white and not what lives lives within their hearts? Would there be separate zebra lands? Could black and white friends still hold hands? Would zebra children be okay to join together, laugh and play? I know why God gave zebra stripes, so that there be no black or white. But zebras would be much too smart to let their colors tear them apart. The Legend of the Hummingbird, a tale from Puerto Rico. When I was a child, I loved to hear my grandmother's stories about the island of Puerto Rico. Many of her stories were about the exotic plants and animals that make Puerto Rico special. One of my favorite stories told why the hummingbird was created. As you read this story, you too will learn the legend of this tiny bird. High in the mountains lived the daughter of a chief. Her name was Alida and her tribe was called the Tainos. Alida's favorite place was the sparkling waterfall that tumbled into a small pool. All around the pool were rocks and tall trees. The trees kept Alida's special place hidden. One day, while Alida was at the hidden pool, she was surprised by a visitor, a boy about her own age. The boy joined Alida at the rocks. My name is Taru, the boy said. I come to this place too. I like to sit by the pool and pick fruit from the trees. Alida and Taru dipped their bare feet in the cool water and they talked and talked. Taru knew they were from different tribes and after a while he told Alida he was a Caribe. Alida was suddenly filled with fear, but the Caribes are an enemy tribe of the Tainos, she explained. Taru tried to come for her. Yes, that is true, he said softly, but I wish you no harm. I want only peace and friendship. Saru's words were sincere and to Alida trusted them. Soon Alida and Taru became good friends. They met at the hidden pool whenever they could. They spent hours talking and laughing together. Before long, their friendship turned into love. They hoped to marry. The young couple tried to keep their love a secret, but one day someone saw them together and told Alida's father. Alida was forbidden to go back to the pool and her father immediately arranged for her to marry someone else. Alida was filled with sadness. One evening, as her wedding day drew near, Alida called to the stars. Please help me, she cried. Don't let me marry a man I do not love. The stars heard Alida's plea. They knew of her love for Taru and they wanted to help her. Quickly, they changed Alida into a beautiful red flower. Meanwhile, Taru returned every day to their special place. He waited and waited. He did not know why Alida had stopped coming. Then one night, the moon called down to Taru and explained what had happened. Alida's father learned of your secret love and planned another marriage for her. The moon said gently, but Alida asked the stars for help and they changed her into a red flower. Taru was overjoyed. Which flower, he called to the stars. Oh, please help me find her. The stars had Taru's plea and they wanted to help him too. Quickly, they changed Taru into a tiny bird. 
Now you can fly, said the stars, find your love among the flowers. And so the tiny bird flew off as he did his wings, made a sweet humming sound that filled the night air. The next day, the people discovered the tiny new bird. As fast as an arrow and as colorful as a jewel, Taru the bird kissed each petal with his long bill, hoping to find the red flower that was Alita. And the people loved the humming music the bird made with his wings. They decided to call this new bird the hummingbird. From that day on, the hummingbird has hovered over many flowers, but it has always liked red ones best of all. The people say it is Taru still looking for his lost love, Alita. The end.